Welcome back to TechPress, guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Typeform application. It's going to be a really simple tutorial. So, Typeform is a burst out of platform that allows you to create interactive forms, surveys, quizzes, and even so much more. So, it's user friendly design and customization options to make it favorite for the businesses and individuals alike. So, to get started, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description, guys, so we can get started with the Typeform. So in this case, I can totally suggest you to sign up with the Google or the Microsoft account since we are using this account a lot for a lot of applications and website I'm going to go for type the form using my Gmail account. So enter your email, create a passcode and follow the prompts to complete your registration process. Once you have done this process, let's agree to the type of terms and service, privacy policy and data processing agreement. So once your account has been set up, and you logged it in with your email and your passcode, what we can do now is to check out the dashboard. And we can create a new type form to start creating a new form. But first of all, let's follow the prompts to verify our account. So what's the main thing we'll be using the type form? In this case, let's go for work. And which is the best describe our role? This is totally depending on how would you like to get started. In my case, I'm gonna go for marketing and choosing the agent that says engage or educate my audience. Lastly, if you want to, what you can do is to import your website. In this case, I'm going to go for cool cats, that click and submit. So we have a entrepreneur, a business plus the basic and free version. So depending on what are the elements, what you can do is to add different responses, different seats, accept payments and received file uploads. So to this tutorial, I'm going to focus only to the free version. But if you want to try out one of those elements, you have the link down below in the description. Now let's create our very first type form. So here it's going to be asking you, how would you like to get started? We can create with artificial intelligence, import different questions, qualified leads, and start totally from scratch. Let's go and start with it, create with artificial intelligence. Here, what I can do is to start by creating blocks. So describe the form you have in mind. For example, a personal request to my personal trades and provide personal recommendations for self-improvement. So suggesting for us, Cod, Lover, Survey, Discover, what kind of trends you doubt the most. So let's go for Continue. And here I list my specific questions of Topping and Any. We can generate, of course, custom questions with artificial intelligence. We can add any question or topic what you like you already know you want to add to your audience. If you don't know, you don't have to worry about that. Let's go for Continue. And lastly, a little bit about our business. So once I have this process, then I'm going to go here and generate my questions. Now, if you already have questions, it's going to be much more likely to have the best results still. If you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Now, as you can see, we have this new generated element. For example, what is your favorite type of cat breed? You can select CMS, Mind Pood, Posian, Sifis, Cottage, the other. I have the second uh, question, which is exactly one description. How many cats do you currently own? And lastly, which country you're located in? So here into my endings, I can choose an ending type. So I have here this ending element say say bye, recall information with, description optional, create a type form. If you're okay with it, what you can do now is to go into the option that says published. Not by before, you want to make sure that you have of course added the elements into the design. So into my content, I saw show share my icons. I can delete this element. I can add a button if you wanted to. And of course, I can change the URL elements. So now that I have redirected all of these elements, what I can do now is to make sure that I have added the right questions and go for published. Into published, I can of course choose to delete the features uh, that I do not want to see. And here is my type form. I'm going to copy the link of my type form. I'm going to paste it into a new element. So I'm going to make sure that I have now access here for the type form. So here into my type form, for example, read the questions. Let's say that I go for, I love CMAs. Which cat's trending? Let's go for cat theme clothing. How many cats do you currently own? Let's go for two. Okay, which country you are located? And choose other, for example, and go for submit. So here is my response and go for okay. As you can see, we have anything add to add it. So I can go back into my type form and go into my workspace. Into my workspace, what I can do is to make sure how many people have checked out my survey. As you can see, here's one response, completion, updated, and more integrations. 
integration can be helping you to let's say add much more information retrieve the data and to see how it actually looks there are a few elements of course that of course are only included with a premium plan so you want to make sure that you have a premium plan in order to continue if you don't you have to worry about that you can focus it only into the free version back into the workspace another element that you can do is to check out the branding kit the branding kit once again is only for premium account but it's going to be helping you to add all your branding info into the type form so guys, this is a really easy solution of how you can get started using the actual type form. We can of course create much more workspace, much more elements with creating a new form. You can do some templates, you can do store these things from scratch, and so much more. So with that being said guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully with all of that being said, we can see you in your product section of textbooks guys. See you next time. Take care.